Welcome to round three of the Winter Cup in 2021. If you've missed rounds one or two, there are links below down in the description. This was a fun round. It involved the combinations Nordic Mechanical, Saxony Agricultural, and Albion Patriotic. If you've seen any of the videos on this tournament so far, you're familiar with the format. In each round, three different players play three games, rotating through three combinations so they each play combination once. I play Nordic Mechanical, Saxony Agricultural, Albion Patriotic in that order in the following games. If you want to watch all three, just let it roll. There are links down in the description if you want to skip to specific games. Thanks for watching. Really need a good objective. Okay, good objectives. That's good. Three farms or three mountains. Three mountains easier. I have a mountain in my base. All right. All right, I got Sax I got Nordic Mechanical against Saxony Agricultural and Albion Patriotic. Playing against Nun, King Rob, Heitman. Played against Nun in some other tournaments. He laid an egg his first round, but he's one of the best players in the world, so kind of at a rough spot playing him in uh in in round three. I really need to get at least two points this round. I've managed to cut my Nordic mechanical strat down by one turn. So I'm kind of hoping for a passive Saxony here. Focuses on upgrades. Because I will have some vulnerability early. There's not a lot I can do about that. The two oil doesn't really tell me much yet about what Saxony's going to do. See an early enlist out of Albion. He's either going to go with the power enlist. Yeah, he went with the power enlist. Um, okay. Let's do this. See what Saxony does here. I want them to stay on oil. Okay. Going for two upgrades. Let's see what they upgrade. Boy, that looks like a rush strat. I'm not loving that. Hopefully they police Albion instead of going for me though. Slow start out of Albion. I'm not sure that that's the best thing for him. Let's upgrade the bolster and the deploy. I'm going to produce next turn to get our first metal. Get our second our second upgrade after that on move and deploy. Going heavy on enlists early, Albion is. Never count none out. I don't I don't like what he's doing so far, but he has a way of making things work. Like I said, one of the best players in the world. Definitely top three or four. From at least the players who participate in tournaments. Okay, Saxony's. Oh! Saxony's rushing. Boy, that too popularity for four food is tempting. Could definitely put an upgrade on bolster and enlist and then get quite a bit of power and two enlists off that. That four food. Yeah, they take it. 
And then you drop this upgrade, I think, on Bolster and Enlist. Unless they're just wanting to go for one Enlist. With a leftover food. Yeah, there it is. No upgrades out of Albion yet. Here we go, Albion setting himself for the first upgrade. Two oil. Challenge is obviously upgrades, so I need to get some of them. My coin is low early, but that's gonna, gonna get better once I get my engine set up, which is gonna happen in a few turns. All right, turn six. Gonna deploy. Our one combat card is a three, could be worse, could be a lot better. Albion's going to upgrade the deploy, I think. Already got two enlists early, so he's set up pretty well. Power. Deploy speed to village. This spot is going to be vulnerable if Saxony rushes these max out. I don't love how this is going so far. Albion's going to have that mech out. I will get some combat cards. Probably before Saxony can hit me. Do I dare go to this farm? It really slows down my spread late game. But it insulates me from Sax early. And it sets me up for harvest advantage. It'd be a good thing. Albion's just at 19 so far on turn 8. Good. I'm at 8 still. Not ideal. Alright. Well, let's think about this for a second. Saxony produces 2, 3. I move here 1. Enlist. Drop another mech right here. So I have 2 mechs, combat cards, and power. Ooh. I have an objective, which means I don't have to get the power star, which means if Saxony attacks me early. Repel him. And get two max on this spot. Love to see four food off of this. Oh, this could be good.
What's the build bonus over the tunnels? I'm not on a tunnel. Okay, do I take tier two? Do I go for tier two here? Or do I take this, which would allow me to get the worker star? I go for tier two. Okay, Saxony delays a little bit. Get that second enlist. It's a good move for them. Means more combat cards. Also helps me. I think I gotta go coin enlist. Doesn't look like anyone's really actively upgrading here. And combat cards are a necessity. Hopefully they're good. I did pull a five. That's wonderful. Saxony has underpass, but no speed yet. They're going to pull speed next turn, which means I got to drop either Seaworthy or Artillery right there. Artillery doesn't do much. Okay. Albion with 10 power. And four metal. Oh my gosh, they pulled metal off the encounter. That's bad news for me. Here comes mech number two. Do they put it here or here? If they put it here, we gain more mobility. They're not coming for me just yet. Okay. See, I thought about putting a mill right here and then moving to the factory and dropping a worker up here. I probably should have done that. Um, no one's positioned to take the factory yet. No one's gonna build. Already got the coin enlist. I go combat cards. I can get the power star by slowing down my enlist a little bit. I may do that. Since I don't seem to be getting power from any other sources. Saxony can come at me, but. I really hope they don't. Nope, doesn't look like it. Do 
two upgrades on the board. I have two upgrades on the board. Albion's got one upgrade, but probably going to get more. Oh, I see a good move here. I'm pretty sure this is good at least. All right, we're going to do this. I have enough metal. We're going to set us ourselves up for the worker star. What did we get here? Did we get the upgrade factory card? We do not. Um, we don't want this because our enlist is underneath our... We could get this for the popularity, but I don't know where we're going to get those extra resources. Saxony would love to get this, I think. And I'm not going to keep them off the factory. Hmm. I'll take this, I think. Nordic with a lot of combat cards. Going for the power star, it looks like. Um, okay, here's where I have some options. Does Albion have Burrow yet? No, he doesn't. Um, I need to get off the factory to avoid giving Saxony an early combat, I think. There doesn't look to be any more upgrades in the process. So... to make a Mac. We're going to deter stacks from attacking us. We're behind. Game's not going badly. Saxony can't bump this area. We don't even need the encounter. We're going to get two pop off the... We're going to be one short of the power star. If we go for the produce next and move, get off the factory, take this encounter, but what else would that accomplish? The 
but what are stars? It's going to be hard to get combats, so enlist, worker, enlist, mech, power, objective, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go to tier two. A little bit behind Albion here. It'd be nice if someone would upgrade. Looks like Albion's going to. Got a will on the ground. This is an easy fight for Saxony. You want Power Star? He does. Gonna let him have this one. There's a good factory card in there for him, but he is right. I want the power star. I need Albion to move this turn. None might delay it. I'm sure he sees I'm within reach of the Power Star. But I'd love to see him move. Oh, that's not the one I expected him to take. Oh, my camera shut off. I forgot to lock the shutter. In third right now, despite tier two. Yep, he sees it. Get this last Mac. So do we need the power star? We got the mech star. We got enlist mech star, enlist worker next turn. We can get our objectives, so we just need to pull two combats. So we could give up on the power star. Albion doesn't move this turn. Albion just has one upgrade. Saxony has two. He's going to upgrade. Feed me the power star. I like this. He's spreading. He's getting some more territory. The score is going to be difficult to catch, but it's definitely doable. Oh, he didn't upgrade. Daggummit. He knows I'm trying to get the power star and he won't give it to me. Twenty two coins is kind of where I wanted to be right now. 
within one point of the lead. Okay, now I need mountains. Okay, that takes away my my combat there. And that takes away a potential mountain. Okay, if I get the power star this next turn, which I can do. And I just need a combat in my objective. I don't think Saxony is too close to ending. Oh, and he gives. He gives Albion a combat. I didn't want to see that. Where am I going to get this combat and stay in tier 2? Some coins. spread ahead now I'll be in one mech away or combat and an objective Albion may be ending this turn would be unfortunate for me I gotta move next turn. Does he have the cards to finish? I don't think he can end this turn. We'll see, but I think he would have already move by now. Oh, he may be doing math here. He's so close, though. I don't think calculating combats is what he's doing. I think he's going to try to end. I need one more turn to spread. I may be able to put it outside his reach. If I have a turn to spread, I can pick up one, two, three, four, six territories. Be 18. And he'd pick up a second upgrade.
I don't think he's ending. Now he gives me the upgrade. Suicide Albion and lose tier two, but I'd end it. Can't move next turn. All right, let's do some math here and pick up one, two territories. Three, four territories, five territories. That would be 15. That would put me at 70. And he shielded this so I can spread out and give this up. Gotta turn in the objective. Seventy four just took a nine, took a nine lead. In suicide, I'll be in next turn and then go for Power Star. And not being able to end was absolutely huge. You can't move this turn either. Can Sachs catch me? I don't think he can. Sax is going to try to end. Let's see, he picks up two territories. That's four. I don't think he can get close. What's he doing? Game's over. I think I win. I think I win with Nordic Mechanical. Oh wow. No matter how these combats turn out, I don't think Sax or Albion can catch me.
both at five stars. No, nope, stacks can't cover. So what's the status? Two upgrades, two upgrades, two upgrades. Oh my gosh. If I was none, I'd be salty right now. That's game. Would have taken me two more turns to end. All right, good game. <laughs> One with Nordic Mechanical, that's absolutely huge. And it's the worst faction for upgrades in my opinion. And I held serve against the other two, so that was great. All right, on to the next game. The ending of that game was somewhat controversial, but it's Saxony ending prematurely didn't change the final result. Albion going into that last turn if Saxony had not decided to end it couldn't have moved and couldn't have ended the game. They perhaps could have produced a few resources to grab some points, but there really wasn't a great way to expand their score. They were down by nine. My turn, I was going to use my factory card to go down to 13 power, grab three coins, and attack Albion on the forest adjacent to the factory. Albion would have had to throw the combat because winning would have meant a sure second place and been sent back home to base. At that point, I would have taken an extra territory, three coins, combat star, and have caused Albion to lose two territories. That would have changed the current score from 74 to 65 to 84 to 61 because it would involve me picking up 10 coins and Albion losing two territories for a loss of four coins. That's a 23 coin split. There was no way that Saks could bump enough workers on that board. You can go back and look that Albion could reach enough of my spots to make up for that sort of difference. The turn after that, I'd bolster for three power, take that power star, and win the game. So, not the best ending, a little anticlimactic, but it didn't change the final result. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the next game. Yeah, King of the Hill, and roll up your sleeves. All right, so I think I'm going economy here because I can't get king of the hill if I rush it with agricultural. Which would mean I have to pull four combats against two powerful combinations and that's just not happening. So the name of this game is upgrades, enlists, power, and opportunistic combats. None is really good on Nordic Mechanical. He may pull this one. Well, I get at least one point this round, which is, uh, oh, and good combat cards. All right. Got a shot here. Do what Nordic does. Rush in the max. Oh, I got lucky that last game. Getting these max out quickly. Upgrade number one. Put it on move. List. What I'm hoping is that this game goes long enough. Nordic doesn't bully Albion to the point where the game ends before I can leave my base. 
Worst case scenario, gain a slight lead in the upgrades, I think. The last one was so close. This is a pretty standard opening for Albion Patriotic. Not the one I'm going to use. But like I said, it's pretty, pretty normal. So we got to produce coming out of Nordic. All right. All right, so I need an oil, I needed oil, food, or metal from this encounter to have a shot to my strat, and I get oil. So that's good. Puts me in a good spot. And I can still play for tier two. Okay, bolster enlist. a good encounter saw what I wanted to see the way Nordic is going I think he might be rushing the factory going buildings yeah he's gonna get the first mech out even before even before a single upgrade Round five, I'm gonna produce. See if Albion stays on the farm, moves here. Yeah, I would have strongly considered going to this encounter. Kinda hope he takes this or this. I mean, I like him taking any of these because this gives me the option. Maybe get some power. You know, I could have gone with the structure off that encounter and got the monument. Oh, he takes the Mac. I think slows him down and kind of hurts him. But I like it at least because it's going to keep Nordic from bullying him too early. And he takes shield. Also like to see that. Less mobility for him. More defensive against Nordic. I need Albion keep Nordic from ending. Because I'm going with a slower strategy that has the potential to get a lot of upgrades and make a lot of points if the game goes long enough. Okay. Nordic playing. I like to see this. Gonna lose some ability to spread. It's a conservative play. It's a little bit unusual for none. I think there's a good chance we see him take this. Or this. Does he take the worker? I don't think he takes the worker. It's going to be a mill right there. Or there. Yeah, that's what I thought about doing last turn because now, now he can walk a worker over here and get that, that star. All right, turn six. Going to get our food. First bolsters next turn to the enlist. Albion has two upgrades. We have two upgrades. Oil on the ground.
Let me max her out. Not a lot. Is anyone building a mech this turn? No, I don't think so. Anyone upgrading this turn? Maybe Nordic. Take some power. That two oil was so big. Hmm. There's my power from the upgrade. I'm gonna miss a combat card over there. Probably don't miss a mech though, so. Gonna go with enlist number two and grab the coin enlist. Hide for the first in coin so far. Probably in with three enlist, Nordic with one. Combat cards are not really an issue. All right, turn 10. I'm going to move two workers over here, one worker to there. Upgrade my produce, my deploy, which allows me to produce metal, get a Mac. Game is going kind of slowly so far. I'm happy with that. Nordic with just three bottom row actions in turn 10. Albion with just one mech. Counter. I'm setting myself up well for King of the Hill if the game lasts long enough for me to get to the factory. I wouldn't be surprised to see none go to the factory next turn and swing for the fences, hoping for something good. Okay, what do we say? Okay, and number 12, I'm going to trade. Nope, none staying on these enlists. He's ahead of me in coins. Got a trade for a metal. The food next turn. Or well, probably underpass to here. What's the score looking like? Pretty close. Yep, there it is. 
This guy goes here. Or there. Probably here. That's a good move. I like it. Got an economy card. I'm not vulnerable to him yet. I kind of like to see Albion get some oil here. No dice. Round 13 is bolster and list. Go to 13 power. Oh, he did get oil. I'm going to get the power star. Albion's got plenty of combat cards. He's tripling up on his max. Wouldn't be at all surprised to see Nordic go down here and set himself up to come through here, but he's not going to do it. Which is good. I wouldn't have a great answer for that. Go to tier two, which with no stars and a few territories is not going to make a big difference in my score. Uh, Nordic with only one upgrade, Albion with three. I'm sitting on three, but I've got more oil. Well, we've both got oil on the ground. Is he going buildings? Number three there, get him and reach the power star. He might. Nope, he takes the pop. He's playing tier two like I did. There's a star. How many upgrades do I still have? I have enough oil. I'm going to get a mech this turn. Power star the next turn. I don't know if my strat's fast enough. I'll get into tier 2 if Nordic builds though. I'm going to be going tier 3. Go 
with two stars next turn. Oh, look at that score, 67. That's going to be really hard to catch. And he's in prime position to start spreading around the board. He's taking that encounter, so getting to tier 2 is going to be difficult. How is he going to get combats, though? Nordic just has his regular move now. How much pop does he have? Eight. So I'd have got to keep at least two on each one. Gee whiz, 41 points behind. Only I had two objectives instead of just one. Or if I had two fives. The upgrade status. I think I'm going to lose this game. Nordic has one. Albion's got three, four, five. I have one, two, three, four. Nordic says good game. Not sure how he's going to end it. 
because he has three fives. <sighs> I think Albion just gave him the game is what happened. Oh, but can he reach him with... He probably has two fives. That would do it anyway. No, he can attack with three. That's right. Suicide, double suicide. The nun pulls behind in the challenge point. We get third, but that doesn't really matter. Why well, I didn't trade for Pop last time. Just in case having the fourth Mac here would make a difference. Nordic wins two in our set so far. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Albion going for those points. Doesn't matter anyway, I guess. Woo, 104. Well played, Nun. Or up the shore or woodland advantage. Or up the shore is a good one. All right, good. Okay, so I'm one behind on upgrades, but the guy who's one ahead of me is on Nordic Mechanical, which is not great for upgrades. So I can catch him, but I need to play quickly this game because time spent is the tiebreaker. Don't forget the flag. And watch sacks. Probably coming for me. Thorp the shore will be these five territories if the game lasts that long. Okay, he's not going to go to my village. Didn't expect him to. It'd be a bad move on his part. All right. So let's see if Saxony is going to rush the factory in seven turns. Sure looks like it. Move and deploy. Yep, he's not even going for the challenge, he's going for the win. So that means I'm going for the coin enlist rather than the power enlist.
Here comes the produce. And my combat cards. Five, take two oil. Round six, we're going to produce. Seven, we're going to move two workers to the farm. There to the encounter. Take this encounter, I think. He risks giving Saxony an easy combat. I think I gotta take the risk. Six, we said produce. And I want the flag here because that's gonna aid me in shore of the shore later in the game. There's very little chance I get woodland advantage. It would be like this, this. And probably that one or that one, but that's going to take a lot of turns to get. No upgrades yet from Nordic, one for me. Right now we're officially tied. Oh, wow, upgraded in 82 resources. That's huge. He has to take that. Puts him back ahead on the challenge point. Next turn, I'll tie him though. What are the two resources? You just take oil and decide later. Do you want another upgrade? Or if you don't want the other upgrade and you want to just speed up your game, you can take something else. Yeah, he's going to take the oil. Then he can trade for whatever he wants. Saxony might get a combat here, but I'm willing to take the chance. This changes things. Stick with the plan. Oh, Sax can move this turn. I screwed up. Is 
Does he want the medal? He wants the factory card. I can spin the metal. He takes it. He can double up on me, but he won't get. I'm wishing now that I'd gone here. He's coming for me. Nope, taking factory. I think he should have gone for me. Where would he get buildings? So I have to take pop off the upgrade bonus. I have five power. Dax did not get a power factory card. But he is gonna go for upgrades it looks like. Wanna enlist that in Nordic, we need more combat cards. I'm not going to get the power star, so... How much more metal do I need? Enough. Big pop. Got an eight coin lead. Kind of to be expected. Got enough pop for my last two produces. This turn I've got a bolster though. I don't want to move. I don't have rally. Saxony leaving me alone. I like it. I've got the best economy this game. Game goes long enough. Got a real shot. Nordic with two upgrades. Would love to see oil off this next encounter. Jackson gets their first enlist off of that encounter. Good for them. Going to see one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight coins off that maybe. And it costs them three. Rally, 
finally right here. Got 18 coins. Nine point lead. Gonna lose two territories temporarily this turn. Time to move. Don't need the third move. Give me oil. Give me oil. Oil would be so huge here. Not good. Three pop. I'm not going to make tier two here. I got to spend two more popularity on productions. This is useless. Take the combat card. And I got a four. That's good. Only a slight lead. Significant coin lead over Saxony though, which means late game. I'm going to start accelerating. Nordic's holding off Saxony so far. Oh, and I got a five, so now I'm sitting on good combat cards. So let's see, four, five, metal, plus another four metal. That's nine metal. I only need six to round out my mechs. So my economy's lined up. Perfectly. There's human shield out of Saxony. And upgrade number three. I put him. Even if he gets six, he's going to top out at nine upgrades. playing a little bit faster than I am right now. Saxony with the triple move still can't attack me here. Could have waited on this worker, that's gonna cost me a coin, then I went ahead and went for it. Ahead by eight. Nordic's coming out, I don't like to see that. Possibly making themselves a target for Saxony. Reducing Saxony's score, a good thing. Bringing themselves on the, out on the board, I don't like. Saxony spends their one power. They don't really need it anymore. Nordic bluffs hard, leaving themselves with three cards and lots of power. Hold even with us. Lots of coins for them. And the upgrade factory card. They're going to get the challenge point. Not a lot I can do about it now. Yes, Ian.
Saxony going for combat number three. It's draining Nordic a little bit. Not as much as they were probably hoping. Gotta get some spread, I think. Where to put this Mac? I think I want Burrow. Nordic's winning. Third set in a row with Nordic winning. Saxony struggling a bit. I think I'm going to move, slow down my engine by one turn, set myself up to pick up some extra oil. I only need one more metal, two more food, and I can produce in three spots. No disarm for sacks, only two mechs on the board, two are at home base. Can't hit that spot with three units. None of the power to 1v1 me. Nordic with two upgrades. Just going to keep draining Nordic. Giving Nordic the third combat. Already have two, so it doesn't speed up the game any. Nordic's set to end pretty soon. Got to stall this game. Dax has a triple move, but once again he can just hit me with one unit, same for Nordic. There should be some nice points right there. Yep, up by nine. Nordic goes to four stars. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna produce next time for the worker star. And then he just needs an objective. So I gotta move again.
Can Nordic end this turn? Yes, they're sitting on an objective like Get Rich, they can end this turn. And they would win. Probably. So that means I have to do this. No disarm from Saxony, that's huge. Hopefully that's game. Oh! Should have dropped a flag there. I got got excited I think I'm going to pull two points here. Right now I'm tied with Nordic. Going to be tied with Nordic on the bonus. One, two, one, two, three, and I've used two minutes less than Nordic. Saxony only has factory move. We can't stop the mech. <laughs> Guys! Sax can't even take a territory away from me. Three points, all but in the bag. I was looking at the wrong thing, but I'm still, still almost two minutes ahead on the tiebreaker of, from Nordic. Nordic should have at least used the factory card that turn. Yeah, we're going to tie on upgrades. I'm going to win the tiebreaker on time. And pull two games.
Yep, got two minutes and 26 seconds ahead of Nordic on the upgrades. Gotta press the right buttons now. Came up with this sequence earlier in the week. Really liked it and got a good objective, so it's paying off. Let's see, I came into this game with four points. I'm going to leave it with seven. No need to give up the territory. Tiebreaker's not going to come into play. And let's double check. Up by four, only going to add points this turn. Skip the top row action because we don't need the power. There it is. 17 turn win as Albion Patriotic. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. That was executed perfectly. Saxing on those tunnels really helped. And a great objective rounded it out. Things went really well that game. All right. That's it. Thanks. See you next round.